Hi guys! This is Ruthie and I am showing you some more of the projects that I'm working on. And um, Clay just bought me this African Violet over the weekend. And what I do when I get a new color, now this one has a little purple in it and I want it to be all white, but Clay told me he thinks that we can kind of get this all white out of the plant. So I'm going to kind of work with this as a white and we'll find out if that happens or what happens with the next generation. But um, I, what I do is immediately I pick out three leaves and, and I cut them diagonally on the stem. And then I place them into little pots. And it's going to take about two months to get flowers. And then I label them like this is going to be a white. So I'll label it. It took me a little bit to find a white, which I was a little bit surprised, but so I'll have three hopefully new white plants. If not, I'll have to pull a few more leaves. And I did have one, which if you saw my other video, started babies. And look, I have another one, I think, that's starting babies. And then I've been trying to tray water them. So I've just been putting them in crates. Now this area here is for African violets that are not in bloom now, and I'm going to move this one out into the house that is in bloom. So the ones that aren't in bloom, I just have in my African violet room, my office, by the window. And i um, hoping that we can get some new babies. I have some in the greenhouse as well. And it's just a little fun project. They'll have to be moved inside once winter comes, the ones that are in the greenhouse. But, you know, I got two babies so far, so it looks like I'm going to have two new African violets and I planted these as you can tell a few months back when I first got them probably four to six weeks ago so I have at least two new plants and then I'll start to cross pollinate and do things but I did want to show you that you know the process is if I get a new plant I'll label it mother plant and then I'll cut off a few leaves try to start something new if a leaf on a plant doesn't look like it's doing so great I might pull it or if it drops off which it, they usually don't drop on an African violet which is really nice but if they do I'll just take it and cut it diagonally in the stem and stick it into some dirt or I might try water, putting it in water now some of them I'm not sure what they're going to be because silly me I didn't label the beginning one so I'll be surprised at the color flower so I'll find out what that what happens there but it's just a fun project and I'm enjoying it. And my mom told me she had about 50 African violets years ago when she lived in Liverpool, New York. And I remember in Baldwinsville, she had a bunch. And my grandparents, who lived in Lancaster County in Pennsylvania, had a bunch. So I'm just waiting for babies. And like I said, you might be able to see real tiny, tiny babies there. And I have babies in the other room. And right now, I only have two flowers, two African violets in bloom. Everybody else is resting, but I'll get better at this, hopefully, and as I'm learning and studying and talking to other people that raise African violets. And so far, you know, I found that from talking to people that a lot of people just stick a leaf in the dirt and it goes to town. Um, some people said that if you put the African violet on the lower shelf of your greenhouse, they go good. And uh, so... You know, join me. African violets are pretty cheap. You can get them for like 3 to $4 at the grocery store. You know, start the hobby. See if you like it. The, the leaves don't drop. They don't require a lot of light. You can neglect, neglect them like crazy. But the only thing you don't want to do is to get the leaves wet with cold water because the cold water will make the leaves die. And um, I actually have had African violets before and then I got bored with it. I just had a few plants and I gave them all away but this time around I want to keep them forever I've had African violets a few times in my life I should say that but this time around it's going to become a bona fide life hobby and I want to keep them forever and keep adding to my collection and the ones I don't want I'll probably give away to friends and uh you know like I gave one to my son that was like a double, you know, if you have a double or something, give some to your friends and then keep growing them and learning and it's a great hobby. So hope you enjoyed this video and uh, 
hope it was helpful. But like I said, it's a fun hobby to have, and it's really exciting when they start to have babies, and they're pretty easy to propagate. So we'll see you in our next video.